When aimed correctly, the United States M18A1 Claymore mine is a highly effective anti-infiltration weapon. It has been used by United States forces since the mid-1950s, providing infantry units with a reliable and deadly device for perimeter defense and offensive ambushes. The Claymore mine gained infamy in worldwide recognition for its use in Vietnam, where it was employed for the same purposes as the Scottish broadsword it was named after. Most mine-type weapons are initiated and a man or a vehicle steps on or rolls over a buried or hidden trigger. However, the M18A1 Claymore is a truly directional mine, allowing the user to aim the blast as desired. The mine is typically command detonated by a wire crimped to an M4 electrical blasting cap, and initiated by an M57 squeeze-type firing device. In Vietnam, the Claymore package came wrapped in an M7OD bandolier and weighed about 4 pounds with all components present. Soldiers can fix it around the perimeter of a position, sweep trails, or daisy chain it with other mines for sympathetic detonation. The employment of the Claymore is only limited by the soldier's devious ingenuity. The M18A1 Claymore is made of a plastic casing with a pound and a half of C4 explosive and 700 steel ball bearings embedded in it. When detonated, the ball bearings are blown out in a 60-degree arc to the front of the mine, reaching up to 50 meters wide and 50 meters high. To set up the Claymore, a soldier or Marine selects a firing position about 20 meters to the rear of the mine, sets it by unfolding four-pointed legs and pressing it into the ground, aims the device using the peep sight atop the mine casing, and connects the firing device. Once the safety bail on the clacker is set, they wait for the enemy to approach. Some units may have different procedures, but that's basically how the mine is set up and ready for action. The Claymore has the words front toward enemy embossed in raised letters on the business side of the casing, making it fairly dumb ASS proof. When it was necessary to emplace a Claymore at night, you could reassure yourself by braille that you had the thing pointed in the intended direction. This brings up the stories from Vietnam days about Viet Song or North Vietnamese army sappers crawling silently up to a Claymore position and simply turning the mine around so it would fire back on the unit that set it in place. While I never actually saw that happen, I've heard enough tales about it from other veterans to believe there must be something to the claims. And it seems to me that a unit that set up its claymores during daylight hours or in plain sight or nearby villagers who just might be rice farmers by day and radical guerrillas by night, could suffer the consequences of a reversed claymore detonation. The enemy in Vietnam had their own lethal toys to cause allied nightmares, including high explosive mines and booby traps. The VC-NVA employed their own version of a claymore, officially called the negative 10 dirhams directional mine. It looked like a large lollipop on a swiveling wood or metal frame, used to direct the blast. Later versions of Qi Kong claymores included a Type 66, which was a direct ripoff of the M18A1, down to the same function, shape, and appearance, including raised print in Chinese characters. The M18A1 Claymore mine has been widely used in combat and has been continually updated and improved by military forces around the world. The modern version of the mine includes a non-electric firing device that allows for hands-free detonation when disturbed by the enemy. Additionally, there is a mini-mine version called the Mini Multipurpose Infantry Munition that is employed in a similar fashion but is smaller and lighter. The roots of the Claymore mine trace back to World War II, when Germany experimented with a side-attacking anti-tank mine and Canada developed the Phoenix landmine. In the US, Norman MacLeod developed the T-48 mine for the Picatinny arsenal, which was infantry portable. 
The first Claymore mines used a battery to trigger the detonator, and approximately 10,000 of the original M18 Claymores were manufactured and used in the early days of the Vietnam War. The Picatinny Arsenal issued a request for proposal in 1954 for an improvement to the original M18, resulting in design changes and the adoption of smaller 1-8 steel balls. These changes led to the standardization of the M18A1 Claymore anti-personnel mine. 